All right. And it also depends on your time zone, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, my name is Michael Forrest. And well, you know, and welcome to It's Shark Time. Now, before we get going, just a quick word about text messaging. I have my text messages in the off position because when I'm up here and I'm performing and I get a text message, it's like hitting the wall, except it's like hitting the wall of text, really. And that can be extremely distracting. So I have them in the off position. Really, if you need to get a hold of us, so the best way to do it is by joining our Discord. And you'll find the address on the beam right below me right here. You know, and uh, you don't worry about writing that down. If you want to find that, you can just take a picture of it. It's probably the easiest way. Lord and, you know, God. sometimes text isn't a bad thing. If you are, if you have any kind of uh, any any kind of hearing challenges so if uh, you know in all space how we sometimes have sound issues where somebody's voice will get garbled uh, a wonderful way to address this is by using our closed captioning system which we're going to have available thanks to all space for the month of november uh, and if it works out we're going to try to continue it out and, you know and hopefully keep it going we found it to be extremely useful uh, also if english isn't your first language they have other languages available that you can use it in uh, and we find it to be an extremely handy resource to navigate uh, you know, events and all space in general, we're hoping it becomes more widely av available. It is still in beta, so it's not a perfect system just yet. So it may occasionally mistranslate some of the things I'm saying. I'm told I do have a bit of an accent and that's kind of a challenge for the system. So occasionally it may say some strange things. It is extremely useful. And if you'd like to give it a try, all you have to do is press on that blue and white triangle button on your lower left and your main you menu will open up before you. Time. And in your lower right, you're gonna see a tab that says settings. Once you click on the settings tab, you're going to see that there's a category on the left called speech. And there I'm you sure can turn your show fun. captions on and you can also set it to be in your own language if you'd like. And that can uh, help with translation. And it, we just think it's a great tool and a great feature and we hope you give it a try. And if you do, let us know what you think. All right, now I've hosted over 800 events in all space. And in that time, the question I get asked East and every day is, why are we here? You're gonna hear people coming into the middle of the event and they're gonna say, what's this all about? What are we doing? So we like to keep the reason that we're here right below my podium right here, these three little words that say it all. So everybody tell me, why are we here? Feed a shark. Chanted people, make me believe it. Feed a shark. Feed a shark. There we go, everybody. Feed a shark. The feed a shark. Wow, that's wild with the captions. Feed a shark. That's right. And in order to feed a shark, we're going to need a shark. And we have Melvin, Buster, and Fang to help us out with that tonight. All right. And uh, listen, it's looking good now, but this wasn't always the case. Once a time in all space history, it was a very sad time when my friends were wasting away to nothing. They were just fading away. They were getting all skinny and they were starving and I was desperate to help them. So I became an all space event host and I had hundreds of people coming to our events and experiences, but nobody was willing to help me feed a shark because it turns out it's not enough to expect you guys to be a hero. Save the world, you know, one shark at a time. I almost said the earth and the world at the same time and it came out we earled. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe that'll maybe be the new word. We can maybe get another catch on. All right. But we found out that that's not enough, that you guys need some incentive. And we have in the lobby, you're going to notice we have these signs up in the lobby. And on one of them, we have a prize kit with 12 items in it. Uh, and so if you'd like to know what we're giving away tonight, take a look at that sign right there. Uh, and you'll see that we have 12 items that we are giving away tonight. Uh, and we do have a new kit coming out. So uh, keep in mind, if you haven't won this kit already, uh, you know, now's your chance to try to win it. Uh, because we are going to be rotating it out for a new prize kit in the next, um, well, I don't know how long it's going to take, but soon. Let's just call it officially soon. You know, you'll also notice that we're having from uh, show to show, we're having a lot of changes on our set. We believe strongly that our show should never be the same twice. So we're going to be bringing new stuff in all the time. Uh, tonight's introduction that we're for bringing back our hammerhead shark. You'll see our hammerhead that we call Tabitha swimming through the aquadrome and patrolling around the area. So keep an eye out for that. You know, and you'll see that because that's new. You know, we think we've improved uh, quite a bit. Her texture is looking very nice tonight. All right. And uh, so, yeah. So if you want to help me feed a shark tonight, all right, all you have to do is you're going to notice in your lower right, you're going to see a raise hand button appear as if by magic, because that's what passes for magic in VR. Right? Now, all you have to do is press that raise hand button and you will get on the list and a chance to come up and be on the show and a chance to win that 12 piece world building kit. Now, if we do have one of our uh, returning champions back tonight, they will be able to select somebody from the audience. So if you're, you know, if you don't want to come up, maybe got a little bit of stage fright, maybe somebody will pick you out. So hang out until the end there. You know, uh, let's see. We just had somebody in the uh, come in the airlock here. I'm going to need to address this. If my moderators can take care of that. There's a name on there that, uh, you know what, I'm going to do myself. All right. Oh, all right. There they go. They're gone. All right. There we go. Somebody use their display name as a way to communicate. Um, well, it's not speech. good things. Oh, no, there they are. Okay. They're back. Okay. Um, I don't really take care of this myself. Mm. You know. uh, okay. There we go. 
that same time of year, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> some other time, some uh, for some reason around this time of year we get that that particular person back. All right. So uh, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. There was somebody with a display name that was um, how do I say this nicely? Racist. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you know, so yeah, we're gonna have that uh, you know, removed, and that can be that can be kind of distracting. So that kind of throws me off when that kind of stuff happens. Uh, so it looks like we got that taken care of, and thank you for that, Mike. All right, so here we are. All right, so everybody, if you'd like to be on the show tonight, all you have to do is press that raise hand button. I see we only have one volunteer on the list so far. You know, does anybody want to try to help me feed a shark? And press that raise hand button to see if we can get that number to come up. See that Melvin Buster and Fang might be on hard times tonight. We're gonna have to dig deep. If it comes down to what I'm gonna interview you guys, that's what's gonna happen. All right, see, we only have one person that wants to help me feed a shark, really. Okay, let's see. All right, so we are, uh, if you would like to be on the show, go ahead and press that raise hand button. While we wait for that list to fill up, though, listen, uh, you know, if you ever have a problem with anybody in all space, really a great way to deal with it is by pressing, uh, sending them a text message and sending that, you know, them a come visit. This way they come here, my friends get a chance to eat, all space becomes a better place, and everybody wins, right? And the best part is we did it together as a community. All right, cool, very nice. Well, let's see. Oh, we're up to three people. That's, I think, all we need to get started. So let's see who do we have on our list here. Let's Take a look at our menu and see what our choices are. Let's so see, we have Carp, all right, and we also have Ohio, and we also have Math Scientist. All right, here we go. All right. So if I called your name, please come up to the stage. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now uh, let's see here. Now, Carp, oh. you're one of our regulars. Have you ever actually been on the show before? No. No, it's your first time. Oh, wow, cool. Welcome. You know, it's nice to have you. Uh, you. I know you've been in all space for a while now. About how long would you say that is, roughly? About 10 months. 10 months. Wow. Okay, cool. And do you mind if I ask you where you're from? Uh, Northern Virginia. Cool. Wow. Very nice. How about you, Ohio? I'm guessing you're from Ohio. Is that, is that the case? Or yeah. Is just... Be clever. Oh, you are. Okay, cool. Very clever. You know, how long have you been around Allspace? Seven days. Seven days. Wow. You're very yeah. fresh. Should we throw them back, everybody? <laughs> what do you think? No. No. No, we're going to keep going? All right, Ohio, you can stay, but I'm watching you. Do you feel like you've had the full all space experience? So far, it's been great. Have you, do you think you've seen everything there is to see? Oh, I doubt it. I'm sure there's yeah, some... Yeah. It's very brave. Uh, some kind of... Okay, well, I just would like to remind you, if I can, that this is a, this is a family show. Ah, got it. Okay? All right, cool. All right, now, uh, now, Matt, let me ask you, how long have you been around all space for? Uh, for, yeah. for long. <laughs> for, for long, okay. And uh, let me ask you, how long, uh, you know, where in the world are you from? Germany. Now, you're one of our returning champions, and you've won the show many times. Do you have a strategy tonight? Uh, I'm, I'm just here because I can now recenter on stage. I'm recentering like crazy. Oh, yes, it is true. You can now recenter <laughs> on stage. It's true. I've, I've recentered five times <laughs> while I was talking to you. Uh, let me ask you this. Do you have any <laughs> advice for people who are playing for the first time? Uh, fellow volunteer contestants. Don't <laughs> well, that's a wonderful strategy. I like that. All right, if everyone would follow me on up, we're going to come up this ramp here, and you'll see that up top we have these three yellow X's set up, right up here, right up top. If you just take your place on one of these X's where you feel comfortable, because hopefully you'll be there for a while. There we go. All right, very nice. All right, now, uh, now, Carp, let me okay. ask you something. Do you, very important. Do you consent to this? Yes. You realize it's legally binding in all the countries. That was quick. Mars. Oh, Mars, I think, yeah. Part of the outer solar system, I would think, definitely. Yeah, you know, parts of deep space. Yeah, that's implied. You know. All right, cool. Excellent. How about you, Matt? Do you consent to this? <laughs> I'm German. We have so much paperwork. I just sign everything without reading. You just sign everything. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, give me a little, yeah. Sign right here. Sign right here. <laughs> right there. Sign, sign right there. And here. <laughs> and, and here. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> here, right down there. All right, excellent. Well done. Well, thank you, Matt. Very good. All right, now how about you, Ohio? Do you consent to be on our show? I suppose so. I'm all about consent. All right, cool. Well, that's good. All right, and I gotta remind you again that this is a family show. Okay. Got it. So keep that in mind, please. All right, thank you. All right, so now uh, the way this is gonna work, try to get to know our volunteer contestants, and our audience is gonna be able to determine the future of all space. And you're gonna do this by voting on which of them deserve to live through this experience. Who will our survivor be tonight, right? And the way we're gonna find out is we're gonna ask our volunteers questions, all right, in an attempt to get to know them a little bit better. All right, so let's start out with you, Ohio. Are you ready for your question? I think so. 
Oh, good. All mm-hmm. right. Well, let's see. So uh, we're pleased to we're pleased to announce that the, that we have the return of Tabitha tonight. She's that hammerhead shark that you're going to see swimming through the aquadrome and patrolling in this area all through this area tonight. Uh, so you you know you'll see her swimming around there. And it's a very little known fact, but Sharky and Tabitha have kind of an on again, off again relationship. All right. Uh, you know, and just before we moved over to our new set, they had a bit of an argument, which is why it took her time getting here. And that's why she's only arriving tonight. All right. And the argument I asked Sharky about it, he says that Tabitha wanted her him to look her directly in the eye. And Sharky said, how? A reasonable question, you would think. And this created a big problem. Now, they're going to be discussing this at length later. All right, but I was hoping maybe you can give Sharky some advice. How would you look a hammerhead shark directly in the eyes? Huh. I would look straight ahead and look at them because their eyes don't represent them. They do, like, their mind and their persona. So I don't want to call attention to their uncommon eyes. I just want to look straight ahead just like I would with someone who's maybe a little cross-eyed, you know? I'm not going to make a big oh, deal of it, so I just look at them. Okay. All right, interesting answer. I like that. And how about you, Matt? What would you do? How would you look a hammerhead shark? Directly in the eyes. Yeah, when, when he wants to look in both eyes at the same time, he should look at her when she's watching in her mirror to make her make a. So would you? So you would utilize a mirror, using reflection yes. to get both eyes at once. That's very clever, everybody. It's <laughs> it's no surprise that Matt's actually a scientist. And how about you, Carp? What do you say? How would you look a hammerhead directly in the eyes? Well, since they're opposed, it'd be difficult. So I have to go with what Matt said. You have to get a reflection okay. of the image. So you too would use reflections. Okay, well, that's very clever. It's very good. All right, now you've all had a chance to get to know our volunteer contestants. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to ask our volunteer contestants to turn around and face that back wall. It's a little bit creepy and it adds to the drama, but most importantly, <laughs> it's going to protect the sanctity of the It's Shark Time vote. Now, the way this is going to work is if you want to vote for CARP, all you have to do is stand behind this fence right here. Our voting system isn't working tonight. Uh, we are going to be bringing it back in the next few weeks, but for now, we're going to be using these fences. Now, if you want to vote for Matt, just go ahead and stand behind this middle fence right here. And if you would like to vote for Ohio, go ahead and stand over behind this fence right here. And let me, while you all get in position, I'm going to go up and check on our contestants and see how they're doing. All right. Now, Carp, how do you think wow, you're doing? Wow, look at him move. Now, doing it's okay. all getting organized. Did you doing okay? Yeah, I think so, too. I, I had it right, seen before the show. Yo, that's good. That's excellent. We like that. We're going to be bringing that back soon, I hope. All right. Now, Matt, how about you? How do you think you're doing? You got some friends out there? It's it's okay. It's okay? I think you're doing okay. It's All right. Okay. Well, let's say you are. Now, Ohio, let me ask you, how do you think you're doing? Right. I don't know. What if my answer was too politically correct? I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know. You know don't be scared. This is why we're here. It's going to be okay. Just relax. Just take deep breaths. And it's going to be okay. All right. Try not to think about that very large shark directly beneath you, mere feet away. It's very hungry. I can't wait to meet you. Don't think about that at all. All right. No pressure. All right, everybody. Let's see how we're doing here. Right? I'm going to take a look and see how we're doing. Okay. It looks like, um, let's see here. Um, I think I well, see. Yeah, I think I see too. Ohio, um, let me ask you something. Do you have any plans later? Oh, have any plans later? Not yet. All right, let me ask you a question. It's very important. Right. Do you? Uh, does anybody know where you are right now? Actually, no. <laughs> no, oh, that's, that's, that's alibi. good news. That's a good answer. It's a really good answer. We like hearing that, uh, Mr. Producer. If you would do the honors, and Ohio, listen. Scream on the way out. We're told this really helps this process. Right, so you just get your Melvin scream says, ready. Thank you. Have it prepared. Yes, Melvin says thank you. He I regret it. nothing. <laughs> he regrets nothing. You see that, everybody? Oh, that's nice. Oh, very good. All right, now if our audience could go ahead and mix it up and you know change positions so nobody can see how you voted, don't be peeking, man. That's true. Don't have that. All right, let's see here. Now, suppose. when you get where you're going, start waving yeah, your arms Ohio. back and forth so I know that you're where you need to be. All right, let me see, everybody. All right, okay, well, it looks like everyone's situated. Now our volunteer contestants are to turn back around. And good news, everybody, we have another opening up here. All right, right over Melvin. All right, ooh, but let's see, we only have two people on the list, and I think that's you guys already up there. If anybody would like to help me feed a shark, because I see we had some more people come in, go ahead and press that raise hand button for a chance to win your 12-piece world-building kit. If you'd like a chance to win that, go ahead and press that. And it looks like, all right, we do get some people over here. Uh, let's see. We have somebody named uh, Jazz Faisal. I don't know if I'm seeing the full name. Okay. Let's see. Jazz, you out there? Where are you, Jazz? Yes, I'm right here. You are. You're right here. Well, come on up. 
I'm new to across the bridges. That's okay. How long would you say you've been around all space for? Uh, four months. Four months. Wow. Have you ever been to the show before? I have not. I make sure I show interest into it so I can, you know, participate oh, okay. in watching. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. What do you think so far? It's interesting to see sharks ready to eat a whole body. So yes, they love avatars. Never, <laughs> never had that on my people, never had that on my bucket list. Avatars. They're not nuts about the people with the green tags because they got kind of like a minty ever and aftertaste. We usually add some seasoning in for that. We're hoping to bring that back along with our special <laughs> effects in the coming weeks. So check back regular. We're gonna have like special animations and all this kind of stuff that we used to have. We're gonna be trying to bring those back. All right. Great, now, if thank I you. ask Jazz Jazz Fizo, let me ask, uh, where in the world are you? Fizzo. You don't mind us asking. Jazz Fizzo. I'm sorry, Jazz oh, Fizzo. Fizzo. Jazz Fizzo. Okay, Jazz Fizzo. <laughs> got it. All right. Well, let me ask you, where in the world are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, cool. We're in the same state. I'm in Pennsylvania also. Excellent. Pennsylvania. All right. But that won't that won't help the voting any. Okay? You know, that's not going to influence the voting at all, I hope. All right. So what we're going to do now is have you come up this ramp right here. Okay? Here we go. All right. And we're going to have you stand on this yellow. I'm going to test it first. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's intact. Good. All right. So go ahead and stand on that yellow X right there. All right. And now let me ask you a very important question. Do you consent to this? I absolutely do. Excellent. Now we can begin our second round, everybody. Okay, good. Right, this is going great. Oh, Lord, what did right. I sign up so, for? Let's see. I think we're going to start now. Let's start with Carp. Carp, are you ready for your question? All right, good. Excellent. All right, let's see here. All right, now, no matter how good you are at world building, there's always going to be things that you miss, things that you only notice when you're actually in the space. You're hanging out there and you're spending time and then you're going to suddenly notice something. Now, during the last show, I noticed that we were missing two wood panels on the edges of these alcoves, all right? And when you're underwater at the bottom of the sea, we find a good policy to keep the water on the outside. But it got me thinking about if the worst should happen down here, you know, what would happen if we started flooding, right? And I started thinking about, you know, who would save who and how that would go. So, Carp, if you could save only one person in here tonight, who would it be and why? Puzzler. Oh, it'd have to be Puzzler. Oh, okay. And well, I, I'd ask why, but I think I know. So yeah, but I'm, but I'm going to ask why anyway. My wife. You know, see, exactly. I told you we were a family show, Ohio. I told you. All right. Good answer. Very good. Now you're not in any trouble with Puzzler later. So that's good. You see that puzzle? You see how he answered? That was good. You must be feeling proud. You'd be like, yeah, that's my man right there. All right. Now, Matt, let me ask you, if you could save only one person in here, who would it be and why? I would, of course, save my lovely Courtney because I love her. Okay. Uh, I would be ha very Matt, happy for the sharks. I, th I thought we were friends, have man. A big party. I thought, we, I thought we were friends, man. Okay, I see how it is. All right. Hello. All right, let's see now. Now, let's see now. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think the sharks will eat you. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they won't, actually. You know, we, we, we work together. Some, sometimes, though, you, get, you know, when it, when it starts, it gets good. a little rough. That's good. You know? Wow, yeah, we're having language things going on. <laughs> All right, now, Jazz, let me ask you. Is it okay to call you Jazz, or do I have to say Jazz? Yes, Jazz is fine, yep. Jazz is fine. Okay, good. Just make it short. I don't want to upset anybody. Now, Jazz, let me ask you that same question. If you could save anyone here tonight, who would it be and why? Myself. Yourself. <laughs> Even though I'm giving you the option to save one other person in here, you don't care about any of them. You're just going to make sure you get out of here. <laughs> I'm three personalities, so me and myself and I, I'm going to have to choose myself. <laughs> I could have well, said okay, I, but I chose so we myself. Gave her the chance to choose one, and she chose none. Okay, everyone, hey, listen. At least it's honest. <laughs> all right, we see the very best and the worst of humanity while we're here at it's Shark Time. And tonight's no different. All right, now we're gonna find out. Now that we've found a chance to learn a little bit more all about you and your priorities, if our volunteer contestant can turn around and face the back wall because it's super creepy and protects the sanctity of the it's Shark Time vote. <laughs> all right, now. If you support Jazz, you're going to want to go and stand behind this fence right here. If you support Matt, you're going to want to stand behind this middle fence right here. And if you support Carp, you're going to want to go and stand behind this fence right here. All right. Now, we're going to go up and check on our volunteer contestants. Here we are. All right. Now, let's see how everyone's doing. Now, Carp, it's a good thing you answered the way you did, or, you know, Puzzle probably wouldn't be standing where you wanted to right now. Let me ask yeah, you, how do you think true. you're doing? Fine. Looks like you're doing good. Looks like you're doing very well. All right, let's see. Uh, now, Matt, let me ask you. How do you think you're doing? You have friends out there? With supporters? 
I'm okay. <laughs> I'm always. But you just told positive. them that you're only gonna. <laughs> you, you just told them all that you're only gonna save Courtney if it comes down to it. At least I know where they stand with you now. I, I, I get it. All right, now Jess, how about you? How do you think you're? I mean, um, actually, I feel confident in myself once again. All right, you feel confident in yourself. All right, that's good. That's very good. All right, let's see. We're have to, it's, it, look, it is looking pretty close here. All right, let's see. Mr. Producer, what do you think? Oh, they're still moving. All right, let's get a count. Yeah, they are. Let's see. Let's take a look here. This is times like this I miss the music. Does anybody remember the music? <laughs> Copyright. Music. No, that's not <laughs> how it goes at all. It's not how it okay. goes. All right, we definitely okay. got to bring the music don't back if people don't remember it. have a lowest score at the moment. Perhaps we, we need don't. a tiebreaker. We need a tiebreaker. Okay, well, you know what? It's moments like these where I question your commitment. I do. <laughs> right. So if everybody would mix up where you are so nobody can, you know, be revealed here, we're going to find out. Let's investigate how committed you are to the people that you support. All right. Let's find out. All right. Now, if we ask our volunteer contestants to turn back around here, right, and we'll start out with you, Carp. Let me ask you something. If you could choose one of your volunteer contestants to get fed to a shark, who would it be and why? <laughs> I'd have to say Matt because Matt won before. Mm. I like Matt. But oh. That's a nice guy. All right. So you <laughs> but, like Matt. You know, so you... He has the aquarium. <laughs> I got the he aquarium does, yes. even though I wasn't on the show. Oh, wow. Okay. Clever. So That's I'd good. have to okay. give it away. He'd have to give it away. You know. I see. Yeah. Gotta okay. be fair. All right. So so you're saying that, you know, you'd, you'd vote for Jazz. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, now, now we know. All right. Now, Matt. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> if you could choose, exactly. If you could choose, Matt, either between carp or jazz to feed a shark, who would you pick and why? I would pick jazz because she did want to save some of the audience. Oh, no. I see. Oh, it's come back to bite you, literally. Yeah. All right. Now, it, it burns. Jazz, it burns so you. bad. Let, let me yeah. ask you. All right. Now that you found out that they're all the same, and you can only pick one. You can only pick one. Who would you pick, either Matt or Carp, to feed a shark, and why? Hmm. It's a tough choice. I know. Yeah. I think I'll choose myself. Choose yourself. Wait, you want to choose? You? All right. So they both picked you, and you're choosing yourself too to feed a shark. I'm not a selfish person because I didn't choose anybody to save. I mean, oh. I'm just thinking honestly, like, you know, being selfish for not choosing somebody. Why not choose myself? All right. You realize, though, if the audience supports you, this could end badly for you. All right. Because I mean, add Art the extra you, season if I go you. down. I don't you know, you know what, though, I'm, I'm going to insist that you pick somebody, because if you don't, that means no matter what, we don't even have to ask the audience. No matter what, that means you're going to get fed to Melvin. Hmm, that's a tough one again. Keep yeah, putting me in so these you... awkward positions. Oh my god. Well, that's kind of my job. I'm sort of rooting for the sharks in case people haven't realized that by now. Okay. They're my friends. I was clear about that in the beginning. You know, come early and hear the important information like that. All right. But as it stands now, they're both voting for you. So I'm gonna ask the audience who we should listen to in just a moment. All right, but are you absolutely okay. sure you want to vote for yourself? Because all signs point to you. Well, the audience is you know, their answer does matter to me, so I prefer yeah. to. But if the audience listens to any one of you, it's going to be you. So you sure you don't <laughs> want to, like, you know, pick one of them for a chance to survive? Mm. Oh, I guess I can pick the middle one. Middle one, oh, Matt. Yeah, I see that. One. I see how. I see how he's looking. At <laughs> the you middle with one. Those eyes. I get you. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I see what you mean. I support you. He was playing. He was getting a little soft. There. No offense, Matt, but you chose not to take me, so now. It's so we're going to turn around, <laughs> right? The ask of volunteer contestants to turn around and fade that back with what is there. You can do that for me. All right, now we're going to ask our audience who we should listen to. All right, now they all said who they want to see eliminated. Which one should we listen to? If you want us to listen to, if you want us to listen to Jazz, go ahead and stand behind this fence right here. All right, if you want us to listen to Matt, stand behind this middle fence. And if you'd like us to listen to Carp, go ahead and stand behind this fence right here. All right, now let's check in with everybody. All right, now Carp, it looks like no matter how this turns out, you're going to be safe. So you must be feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah? Okay, good. Now Matt, your <laughs> life's in peril. How you feeling? Oh no. 
I'm always positive. No. <laughs> okay, stay positive. That's good. I, I got the pockets full of seasoning for Buster because the dispenser is broken. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, oh. Good. Excellent. All He's right. Ready. Good. Excellent. It's prepared. Yeah, you're ready to go. All right. Now, Jazz, what do you think? You, how do you think you're doing? The audience is going to maybe listen to you tonight. Okay. Oh, my good good rhyme, too. That's very good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's check in with the audience to see how they're doing. All right, let's have a look here. All right, well, it looks like we have more of a decision here, and I think it's pretty clear um, that, uh, Mr. Producer, would you agree that uh, Melvin's going to be night tonight? Poor Melvin. He's all, he's totally off his diet tonight. Yeah, that's okay, <laughs> though. You know, Melvin likes to indulge every once in a while. Now, uh, now, Jazz, let me ask you something. Does anybody know where you are right now? <laughs> I'm sure nobody doesn't. I snuck oh, off from a party. So. Good news. So, so nobody that's willing to like press charges or anything like that. No, we're in, shouldn't. We're in the clear then. Oh, good, mm -hmm. good, excellent. That's good. That's very good news. All right. Now, uh, if I could, you know, piece of friendly advice, if you give us a scream, it'll help the process a lot. Mr. Producer, mm -hmm. if you wouldn't mind doing the honors and see and introducing Jazz to our friend Melvin, would be much appreciated. Okay, here we go. <laughs> give us here a we go. Scream on the way out. Here we go. Here we no! go. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, that was an excellent scream. You saw that? You that heard that rather? That was a good one. High quality scream there. I we hear a lot of screams here at a dark time, and that was a good one. All right, now, God, if man. everybody would mix up where they are so nobody could see how you voted, go ahead and that just start fun. shuffling around. All right, when you get where you're going, start waving your arms back and forth. And if our volunteer contest could turn back around and take a look out in the audience and watch them all waving because it looks awesome. Here we go. Take a look at that. Doesn't it look cool? Look Matt, turn around and take a look. <laughs> Take a look, Matt. Go ahead, Matt. Turn around. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, everybody. All right. Now, as we enter our third round, when you came in tonight, you may have noticed that we have a Patreon sign up in the lobby and a Buy Us a Coffee link over here. And the reason that we have that is because we are trying to raise money to put on more interactive experiences like this one for all of you. Also, a portion of what we collect, we donate to the Bimini Shark Lab. We do very important work about raising awareness about some of the environmental challenges that face sharks in our oceans today. Things like shark finning and some of you know, the environmental challenges that are out there, you know, uh, plastics and all that kind of stuff. They, uh, they do a great job you know, raising awareness about some of the things, that, not just with sharks, but things that are happening in the ocean today. All right. Let's see. See your hand going up there, Hummingbird. Everything okay? Yeah. All right, good. Just checking. Just making sure. So that hand go up. All right, because we usually use that as a signal. We cover that bit. As you show us, but yeah, that's what we do. No, yes, Mrs. Think... Forrest, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little borderline, but do you think we have time for one more contestant? Uh, well, actually, I do have a plan for the end that we can do uh, something involving the other thing. But we'll, you know what we'll do? We'll do the, the postcard thing instead. Ooh. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, so that's what we'll do. All right, yeah, the postcard thing, everybody. If you haven't had a chance to see the postcard, then we're going to try this now. All right? Uh, you know, because we we're doing well on time. So what we'll do is we're going to – now, what's going to happen now is we're going to ask our volunteers a question. All right? Just like before. But what we're going to do is we're going to involve the audience in the end. All right? Uh -huh. So let's start out with you, Matt. Now, Matt, go away to a place on vacation. All right? And once there, you want to – you know, you miss all your friends in all space. You know how you know how it is on the internet. You can't really reveal your location too specifically, all right? Because you know there's some you know very uh, how do we put this nicely? Well, there are some stalkers out there, everybody. You know we got to be careful about that kind of thing, okay. all right? So you want to send the postcard, but you can't say where you are, right? What does the postcard look like? That hints at it. Is describe that postcard, Matt. Uh, a surfing penguin. <laughs> surfing penguin. Okay. All right. Now, keep in your mind where that is. All right. Does anybody want to take a guess where Matt is talking about? Put your hand up like this, and you can win a prize kit right now. All right. Let's see. Do, no, not you, Mr. Producer. You already have a prize kit. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We have uh, a Marapino. Am I saying that right? Yeah. I am. All right. Good. Where do you think Matt's talking about? Argentina. Argentina. Matt, is it Argentina? No. He's shaking his head. No. Okay. Would anybody else like to try? Go ahead and put your hand up like this. All right. Let's see. We have, who is this? We have uh, Josh Wave. Josh Wave, where do you think it is? Um, Madagascar. Madagascar. Are we talking about Madagascar, Matt? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Anybody else? Raise your hand up if you want to try. Puzzler, where, where do you think he? Where, where? Antarctica. Antarctica. Okay. Uh, is it Antarctica, Matt? 
<laughs> no, I would never say no. that. Okay. Oh. oh, wow, this is getting pretty <laughs> obscure. Let's see. Is there anything else on the postcard that might give us a clue, man? Uh, it's a maybe a little dingo. <laughs> what is it? A dingo. Dingo. Okay. Right, we also have a dingo. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ohio. You have a guess? Oh, it's nice to see you again, Ohio. I thought it was How you doing? I was going to say California. California. Okay. Is it California, Matt? No. No. Okay. It's not California. All right. Anybody else want to try? Anybody else? All right. Let's see. Uh, Jazz Fiesel. Nice to see you again, Jazz. How are you doing? You doing okay? Uh, hi. So what about Australia? Australia. All right, Matt, uh, is it Australia? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, if Mr. Producer can take note of Jazz's username. Now, Jazz, what's going to happen is after the show, you're going to receive a friend request from Sharky himself. All you have to do is accept Sharky's friend request, and shortly after that, you're going to receive that 12-piece world building kit that's in the lobby up on one of the signs there, and that'll belong to you. You can use it in your home space, your event spaces, anywhere you like. All right. Now, Carp, let me ask you. All right. You go away. You're on a dream vacation. And you're having the best time, but you miss your friends in all space. You're gonna send them a postcard without revealing where you are. What does that postcard look like? It would have both volcanoes and hot springs on it. Volcanoes and hot springs. All right. Anybody want to take a guess of where we're talking about? Anybody? Just raise your hand up. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, nonverbal expression. <clears throat> what do you think? Where do you think he is? Japan? Is it is it Japan? Oh. No, it is not Japan. Or right, anybody else want to take a guess? Let's see. Uh, Rocky Raccoon, what do you say? Hawaii. Is it Hawaii? Oh. N no. Okay, anybody else? Let's see. We have a hand up over here. Uh, Jamar, what do you say? Iceland? Is it Iceland? Yes. Yes, we uh, uh, are in Iceland. All right, so you're going to win a 12-piece world building kit. All right. If Mr. Producer could take note of your username, what's going to happen is sure. you're going to, tonight after the show, you're going to receive a friend request from Sharky himself. And at, shortly after that, you're going to receive, after you accept that friend request, you will receive a 12 piece world building kit of your very own. Okay. That you'll, and if you want to see what's in it, you'll see the sign out in the lobby. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move into our third round and we're going to ask you guys another question. You, are you ready? Let's start out with Matt. Matt, are you ready? Yes. All right, excellent. All right, let's see what we have for you here today. All right, now, let's see here. Wait, if I lost my place, apparently. All right, now, marine biologists aren't exactly certain why whales beach themselves. There's a lot of different theories about it, but nobody really knows for sure. I figured I would do use my, my special friendship. What was that, uh, Matt? What do, what, do, what do whales do? They beach themselves. They throw themselves up on the beach. They go up on land. Oh. It's kind of like a death sentence. I asked Sharky why this is. I figured, you know, I'd get in good with the science community by solving this mystery by using my special relationship with Sharky to find out why. I asked Sharky, I said, why does this happen? And he says, it's whale banishment. Apparently, when a whale crosses someone in the whale community, they'll get banished and they'll be driven right out of the sea. All right, it's very sad. And I was thinking, what if this went the other way? What if, as humans, what if we did this? We drove people into the ocean when they don't fit in. Right? What if we did that? And we're wondering if it happened to you, Matt, how would you survive? You were forced to live out on the ocean. Uh, I, I would call my friend Buster and he would probably eat me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you wouldn't stick around to find out. You would just have Buster finish the job. It's very noble. It's very noble. I think we learned something about Matt tonight. All right. Okay. Now, uh, Carp, let me ask you, how would you survive out there on the ocean? Well, as I just saw the movie last night, I would have... Oh, you just went the sea. <laughs> no, you'd join Atlantis. You'd make new friends. Yeah. You'd start a new cause. All right, very good. Oh, I like it. That's a good, good plan, solid plan. <laughs> I like it very much. You know, just watch out for those dolphins down there. I hear that's a real problem. Uh, <laughs> hooliganism is a real issue, everybody. All right, so now let's find out what our, what our audience thinks about our volunteers' answers. We're going to ask our volunteer contestants to go ahead and turn around and face that back wall and preserve the integrity of the shark time vote. All right, now, if you support Carp, go ahead and stand behind this fence right here. And if you support Matt, go ahead and stand behind this middle fence right here. All right, and now let's check in with our volunteer contestants to see how they're doing while you all get positioned. All right. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! God. Someone forgot to close the hatch! Okay. Someone? <laughs> that's terrible. You know, that's the second oh, week no. in row, Mrs. Producer. I'm starting to, I'm starting to think maybe uh, you don't support what we're doing here anymore. 
That's terrible. <laughs> That's really bad. I'll go up the other side where it's safer. Oh my goodness, I can't work like this. It's okay. No car it's all right. I promise. It's safe. All right. Now, Carp, let me ask you, how do you think you're doing? Doing good. All right. I, I just dinner. fell down I'm the is my, is my hair okay? Is my hair all right? Yes. Uh, you you <laughs> just need to be repressed. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. You know, I've been told by no, a lot of people like a TV show. that we resemble one another. Yeah, I don't see it, but maybe we have some like relate, you know, relate. You, know, you could be the at best, my younger brother. Maybe, yeah, maybe possibly. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Now, probably not that much younger. We could talk about that after the show. But Matt, let me ask you: How do you think you're doing? Yeah, like I said, I'm always positive, and uh, the best, uh, the most positive outcome is when a cop gets his kid and Buster gets food. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, Aww. all right. That's nice. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, Miss Producer, it's looking kind of close here. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, hard to say. Boy, oh, boy. I don't know. It looks like there's some people who are sitting out, and I'm trying not yeah. to count the camera. And Okay, let yeah. Let's not count the camera. Well, I mean, Good. you know, one day, maybe. But... Well, maybe. Well, no, maybe, the maybe camera we'll was the always camera on my side. Well, <laughs> you know, normally, I you know, would say we are, we are talking about giving uh, the Discord a way to vote when they're not here. All right, let's see here now. Let's see. I'm trying to, you know, you know what I'm going to do here? Let me see. Miss hmm. Producer, what, what do you think? Do? It's looking pretty even. Oh, it is looking pretty even. I mean, we yeah. can give you guys some more information. All right, Matt, let me ask you something. Why do you deserve to live more than carp? Uh, I'm so nice to sharks. <laughs> okay. Matt's really nice to sharks. Let's see if that influences your decision at all. I right, see people moving around too. All right, good. This is working. All right, Carp, let me ask you: Why do you live to deserve more than that guy? Well, oh, because I have <laughs> an artificial guy. hip made out of steel, and if you steal the shark, you could the poor guy could choke on it. Oh, <laughs> it, might, it might damage your teeth too. Oh. I'm glad you told oh, me that. That is a concern. That. Yeah, that's a very good concern. We need to stop. Oh, oh, you could become like Wolverine, Sharkarine. Sharkarine. Oh, there we go. That's copyright infringement. Yeah. I like where you're going with this. I like it. You know, that good science answer there. All right, everybody. Well, let's see. It's looking, it's looking like we got more information here. Mr. Producer, what do you think? A tough one. This is a tough one. If we had, it uh, I would say it's a feeding frenzy, honestly. Oh, I, you know, I want to make sure we give away some prizes tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, I actually, I'm thinking at this point, actually, yeah. Um, now uh, you're pretty set on, on, you know, on hanging out with Buster tonight, right? Yeah, yeah actually, but, uh, Mike, he's waiting for me. Michael? Yes, Mr. Michael? Producer. Yes, Mr. This producer. is not just us having, having our, our dear friend, Matt, take a dive. He, he yeah. has actually one less literally currently. I know. I count it. That's why I said that. Jerky, jerky. Oh, well, fine. Yeah. No, oh, no, oh, no. I wasn't doing that because no, no, no. But that would no, we would never do that here at Shark Time. That would we care very much about the integrity of the voting system, you know. And hopefully, we'll be having our voting system back because that was. A... How dare you accuse me of that after you've thrown me down down the tank like that? We're gonna have to. Have discussion. All right, well, Matt, let me ask you: Do you have any plans? Uh, I I want to make friend pasta. I see. Okay, and does anybody know where you are right now? Uh, Courtney, do. <laughs> right, well, let's find out. Now, Courtney, are you the type to press charges? I've, I've already told you this before. I know, I know, but I gotta, I gotta check. The insurance company makes me. <laughs> oh, you oh, you'll see me after. Okay, you'll see you after the show. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay, goodness. excellent. <laughs> All right, everybody. Right, clearly, I got a lot of work to do after the show is over. All right, Matt, do me a favor and give us a good scream on your way out, Mr. Producer, if you wouldn't mind doing the honors. And Matt, give us one of your best screams. Well, nine. There we go, everybody. There we go. All right, excellent. Now, if everybody could mix up where they were standing so nobody can see the voting, you can go ahead and shuffle everyone around, move your arms around like this. And Carp, it looks like you are going to be our winner tonight. All right, so go ahead and face. Jump down with me. Right, and if if you could stand right in front of this bridge right here, all right, and then turn around to face me, all right. So we can get your picture to go out on our Twitter. Come out a little bit closer, to me, Carp, if you wouldn't mind. Just come a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Here. Now, if everybody can kind of cluster together, so we can get everybody in the picture here. All right. Now, I'll go ahead and throw up all the emojis that you can. We'll get a nice photo here. All right. I'm going to be taking a picture in three, two. Everybody, yell out Shark Time in one. There we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, that came out good. All right. Now, what we're going to do now, Carp, turn around and take a look. See all those emojis? Look, that's for you. 
Cool. I feel. Yeah. No, I gotta uh, give cool. the gift feels away. Good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Michael Fox. Oh, nice. What you say? You gotta, I gotta give, away give the, the gift. tank away. Because okay. that day we didn't have the show. Remember when you All were right, if you haven't won a prize kit and would like to win it, Carp is going to be giving you a, a prize kit away. So go ahead and put your arm up like this. Let's see. We ha uh, And now, uh, if Carp, you can okay. pick somebody out. The first guy with the uh, his hand up was with the green shirt and the beard. The green shirt. Let me see. Green shirt and beard. That was the, Amo uh, Las, Pino. Las, uh, how do we say that? Las Javers Jr.? Am I saying that right? Marapino. 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 Let me see. All right. A Marapino. Okay. All right. Now, Mrs. Uh, Miss Producer, did you get a uh, Marapino's username? I sure did. Okay. Cool. Thank, Thank you, Corp. So Thank now, what's going to happen if you've been chosen to receive a prize kit tonight? You're going to receive after the show a friend request from Sharky himself. All you have to do is accept this friend request, and shortly after, you're going to receive a 12-piece world building kit of your very own. If you'd like a sneak peek at what's inside of it, you're going to see. You can see it out in the lobby. All right, right outside there. Now, let me ask you, has anybody out, uh, not seen our sea bus yet? All right, because we're going to have a new experience coming to Shark Time. All right, oh, that's a lot of you. Right, so at the end of our experience, when we get our program back, what's going to happen is I'm going to press a button on this console, and what's going to happen is that door in the very back is going to open up, an airlock. All right, so let's go take a look and see what's on the other side of that airlock right now before it opens. We've got it set up so you can just walk right through the door. If everyone want to come out and join me right here, let's have a look. 